Hello friends, welcome to Power BI tutorial. In my previous video, I explained what is query parameter in Power BI and how we can create parameters in Power BI. Today, I will explain to you how you can change database and server name dynamically using query parameters in Power BI. And you can view data for production or development in same report to select dynamic connections using query parameters. So see here, this is my production database details. Let's assume AdventureWorks DW2017 is my production database name and desktop hyphen double seven vulg is my server name. As you see here in my right hand side, this is my server name and under that server, I have two databases, one for production and other for development. So AdventureWorks 2017, I will use as a my development server and AdventureWorks DW 2017 I will use as a my production database as you see here this is my production database let's assume and in next window this is my development database details adventure works 2017 and here is simple select query select actually from covid covid is my table name and as you see here this is table output and here here I have id country cases death recover and active columns I am using same table in my production. See, this is result of my production table output and columns names are same. But if you notice under country data, after my each country name, I added hyphen prod. So then you can easily identify which record is coming from production table and which record is coming from development table. And when you notice in development country data, there is no hyphen prod after country name. So you can easily identify records. Okay. In my case, I have only one server name and I have two different different databases for production and development. See here. Okay. And my table name and column names are same for both production and development, but records are different. Okay. So let's move to the Power BI file. So to creating parameters in Power BI, you have to click edit queries. See. Under home tab, you have edit queries option. Just click to edit queries. And when you click to edit queries, one power query editor window will be open as you see here. And under home tab, we have one option manage parameters. Just click to manage parameters and then click to new parameter. When you click to new parameter, one parameter window will be open as you see here. So firstly, we will create parameter for server name. So just keep name to your parameter. So here, I give server name and then give some small description select server name okay fine and in type drop down select text because my server name is in text format and in suggested value select list of values reason behind right now I have only one server name but if you have multiple server name then select list of values and now enter your server name here so using select at the rate at the server name you can get your server name so just copy your server name and paste your server name here okay and then default value so in my case i have only one server so that's why i'm selecting desktop if you have multiple select so select that server which you want to connect by default okay and in current value i'm selecting the same now we'll create parameter for database so just click to new and give give some name for your database parameter so in my case i am giving database and give some small description select database name fine and in type drop down select test and suggested value select list of values because we have multiple databases so firstly i am copying my development server name adventure works 2017 is my development database name so paste here then in second row I am copying my production database name fine okay so here I mentioned my board database details okay now in default value I want to connect as a default with my development server so I am selecting my development server name here and in current value select the same then click to ok so when you click to ok you will see two parameter has been created one for database name and other for server name 
so in database name by default it is showing my development database name because i want to connect by default my development database and when you click to drop down it will show you production database name see adventure was dw 2017 is my production database okay and in server name i have only one server name so when you click to drop down it will show you only one server name okay so always remember by default i connect with my development database because i select my development database as a default database okay adventure was 2017 fine now click close and apply now we will import data using direct query from sql server okay so when you click to get data then click to sql server so it will show you some different window as you see here here we have drop down option under server name and same under database we have some option see so firstly we will click server name drop down and now it is showing some details you want to connect with text and parameter or no parameter so here for server name and database we created two parameters so i want to connect with parameters so just click to parameters see here you have drop down of your all parameter so this is server name so i select server parameters same for database and click to parameters and this is database so select database so remember here by default it will be connected with my development database because i select development database as a default database okay then click to direct query and copy query from here and then paste click to advance and paste here fine then click to ok now it will load data and as you see here this is preview of my data and instead of my database and server name it is showing me parameters name see server name this is my parameter name and database is this is my database parameter name and by default it is showing me development data preview because i select development data as a default database okay then click to load it will take few minutes or few seconds to load according to data length okay now data has been loaded successfully now we will create one visuals to display my data so here i take table from visualization panel and here i am dragging country name and total cases fine i am increasing font size for better visibility so i click to greet and then from here i am giving font size 20 pixel fine so if you see here in country column details it is showing china india italy and spain and now see here in database see this is my product this is my development database and i am executing query c span italy india and china so this is my development data okay because by default i select development data as my default database okay so to check your parameter is working fine or not just click to edit queries and then click to edit parameters now in drop down it is showing me two databases okay one is adventure works 2017 that is my development database name and adventure works dw 2017 is my production database by default it is connecting with adventure works 2017 and i have only one server name so that's why by default it is showing server name is my current server name okay so now i am changing my database name from development to production so i select production database name and then click to ok and then click apply changes now it is fetching data from production table as you see here ind hyphen prod italy hyphen prod if you see here in database this is my production table data and when i execute query c and this is adventure works dw 2017 so using parameter you can easily change your connection string dynamically so now i am again switch to development database so just click to edit queries and then click to edit parameters and from here just select the database name dynamically suppose i am selecting adventure works 2017 this is my development database name and then click to ok see here click to apply see this is my production database okay guys so to using parameters you can easily change connection string of your database or server name and you can save your lots of time you don't need to create same report for production connections and same report for development 
connections. So guys, hope you clear how you can change database and server name dynamically using query parameters. Thank you guys.